uh, and welcome to another Simon Finds Cheats on Chess.com series. <laughs> the last two players I played, or the last player at least, uh, I think have been computer assisted. But let's hope we get a good game. And I'm going to talk through my thought process and try to help you guys get some good tips. Now I've started with E4 because I, I saw some of you in the chat wanting me to play this move. Remember to press that like button and subscribe. And we're going to get a Sicilian now. Now, I think a very good system against the Sicilian. Y you can go main line, but whenever you're learning any opening, you, you really need to think how much time do you have. Because if you want to go main line, it probably means you don't have a life. Joking. It means that you've got a lot of time to study chess because there's many, many different variations you want to follow. Now, one of my favourite little lines here, which I've done a chess ball course on with Richard Palliser, is this rather peculiar little move. And this is the kind of move that's perfect if you don't have a lot of time to uh, learn a lot of theory and you just want to get a game of chess. But every opening you play needs to have an idea in place. And the idea here is to get like a Grand Prix or a reverse classical Dutch with these two very tasty pawns. And we follow up now by this standard development. So you can say that stage one is this kind of structure, which I'm going to get here. This is stage one of this setup. And now in this position, we're going to try to do a very standard attack with the queen diving over to h4, followed up by f5, bishop h6, knight g5. Any opening that you learn, whether it's a little system like this, you need to know what plans you're going to try to do in the middle game and what plans to adapt to, depending on what your opponent plays. Now, my opponent has played this move, which looks very suspect to me. Because after here, his idea, I guess, is to play g5, but then we have a sacrifice with a knight coming in, and that's just too tempting to play. We're going to have a knight and queen hovering around his king, with a possible rook lift to come. Now, maybe a more sane person would develop a piece first, but the whole point of this system is to attack. It looks like it's not a very aggressive opening, but as we're going to see, it has very aggressive intentions. Now, my simple idea is bishop takes h6. I can't see any other way my opponent can really defend that. King h7 looks very dodgy because there's always something coming to g5 because of the pin. And this move just feels like my opponent played it very quickly, but it's you have to be very careful playing moves in front of your king because they do, of course, weaken your king. And uh, this move is, is a typical uh, idea. Now, I'm clearly going to sacrifice here. I've got this pawn as well, and I think my knight is a better attacking piece because it sets up ideas of the queen coming in. So I'm going to give up my undeveloped bishop, and I'm going to move my knight in. Now, if I can get rid of that one defender, that will be checkmate. So, ideas I can now consider is bringing a knight here to try to swap off that defender. If you're attacking, look at your most developed pieces and, and see if they can do anything. Well, at the moment, they can't really, because they're both on perfect squares, as far as I can see. I mean, they're doing a very good job. So then you've got to think about bringing in reinforcements. So bringing in the knight is one reinforcement. And then another reinforcement would be swinging the rook around. Now, I kind of like the idea of just bringing the knight here. And if my opponent takes, coming in here. Um, we should also consider the possibility of taking on f6. Because now my opponent's made that playable. So pawn takes pawn. He has to take with a pawn. Rook takes f6. Getting rid of the defender of h7. He's only got one move there. Rook takes f6. So his king has the f8 square. And as far as I can see, that looks all right for him. I mean, g4 is not crazy here as well, but surely bringing in more reinforcements, it's kind of like you don't have to think about such a move. You can just play it. My opponent has brought in his own reinforcement here. That's a good move because it does stop my rook lift. Maybe now I'm kind of regretting this one. Um, very interesting position. Not entirely clear. Now, takes, takes. I really want to sacrifice more, but I can't get it to work. 
Now, do we bring the bishop over? I'm not so worried about that pawn. Should I be? The bishop comes here. Are we even going to take this one? And It's another piece attacking. It's Therefore, I'm going to play it. Again, I, I'm not going to think too much because I'm just going to build my piece up as much as I can. Now, he can take there, but then I'm going to take, take, and come in to e6. That should be okay for me. Again, I'm being a little bit lazy here, probably because I'm hungover. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to only have a beer once a week at the moment, but I saw a friend yesterday, Fiona, who you may know, and we had a, we had a, good, a good drink and a good catch-up, which is always nice. This night is very annoying, isn't it? Because it just stops me bringing this one around. Now, takes, takes. This is just not working. Maybe maybe I should have put my bishop on g6. Should I be taking here? Oh, there's also another idea, which is very common. We've got to get rid of this knight, right? Now, we haven't got d5, but what about the e4 square? So if I go e5, my opponent has to take. And then I bring the knight to e4, threatening knight takes knight. That looks really, really... It brings another piece in for one mere pawn. I like it. So we're just thinking about the key defender and we're trying to eliminate the key defender. Again, I'm not calculating too deeply. I'm literally playing one, two move tactics, but logical ideas. I'm, I'm seeing the essence of the position, this piece, the essence. I'm trying to get rid of that piece so I can get through to h7. I'm bringing in more attackers all my loot moves seem very logical i mean look what i've done i brought the bishop in the knight's coming and now my opponent has to deal with knight takes knight and queen here so if the rook moves my intention then is to open up the f file because i can bring in another attacker and that stops that early earlier possibility of my opponent going rook takes f6 so I'm just trying to maximize all my pieces and at the same time create threats. Not temporary threats, but threats that improve my position. Superficial threats are not very good. And now, of course, it is time to open up my rook. Uh, there's no reason to keep this pawn here anymore. Um, and now we certainly have ideas. For example, if pawn takes pawn, knight takes f6, we have to do a little bit of calculating. Is chess, after all, not, not uh, Cluedo? Bishop takes, and the queen comes in to f7. We checkmate. So, hello, Charlie. Charlie's my cat. can hear him get up, so we're taking him for a walk soon. One of the only cats in the world that gets walks like a dog permanently, uh, which he enjoys. Um, and he's a bit senile, so he needs to be walked around. It does old Charlie. And this is looking really dangerous so yeah so he's got to play something like this giving some material up now if i take here he can't take with the bishop because of this idea if he takes with the rook, well i think i'm going to get rid of this one i mean because if i take here he takes with the rook and then i can't get through here so this is a key piece and again just very simply what my good piece my knight on g5 is fantastic my knight on e4 is fantastic my bishop's only got one good thing to do and that's to take here now he has to defend f7 so that seems logical we got a little bit of material back now he's still not threatening this is he because a check and uh knight takes e6 well then the knight takes there so check should be so okay so he might he might be taking here but i can always take back with a pawn this knight seems to be a good defender because it, it it's threatening to come to defend here now is he also threatening to come here i wonder and then yeah maybe so is there no immediate win and i'm getting a bit short of time here check i come in check king here check here and then am I winning that bishop? I really want to play this move because it's simple. I don't have to think. But after knight f5, I can go rook takes, but I don't really trust it. Knight f5, knight takes here, queen takes. I think I think we can force things, and we should always look at forcing things. Check here, check. And if I take the bishop, I get my material back. If he blocks, then I have knight takes e6 check, and I I'll, let, I'll show you. So this, of course, you need tactics. And this tactic 
I'm hoping works. And the point is, I now have this check. We'll just see if there's a better move. This one, nope, this check. And the point now is, if he blocks, I have knight takes e6 check. Knight takes, queen takes e6. If he doesn't block, I'm taking the bishop, and I'm actually, all of a sudden, going to be material up. Very typical attack, this. Uh, and you often get this attack in the Dutch as well. And again, if you haven't got time to learn loads of openings, this is what we call a system opening. It's an opening that's not very well analysed. Again, if you can get my chessboard course to learn more about it. But as long as you know the standard ideas, you can just play it. You don't have to learn too much theory. Great for lazy buggers like me, you know. And um, another good thing is that it's very similar to the Dutch defence. So if you play the Dutch defence already, you can adapt the ideas that you see in this opening. And... Um, you, you already know the middle game plans. So it's very flexible, adaptable for that. Okay, so we are now just going to take here with check. Uh, and this was the tactic that I just about spotted in time. Um, I mean, it would be even better if I, I had uh, moved this knight away. But this move is the key concept. And now we'll exchange up. Exchange one pawn up with an ongoing attack. So it should be enough to win. Um... Hello, Charlie. I'll be with you in a second. It'd be nice to win quickly so I can get the cat for his walk. <laughs> uh, and, uh, okay, so this check, am I worried about that? Not really. Do we just... Okay, I'm going to play quite quickly. Mm, okay, I'm just going to step out of the way. Let's just step out of the way. This is the only thing that's slightly annoying. So let's just get out of the way. Okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm really tempted to come here. And I'm going to play it. Because even if the tactic doesn't work, I'm going to be two pawns up. And the point is, he can't come to the center because I'll win his rook. And what I want to do now is bring in, like I said earlier, more reinforcements. Which I'm going to bring in here. And if I can swing this rook around, it'll be the end of the game. We've got two attacking pieces, but big attacking pieces against a lone king. If he tries to defend, my rook comes in. And this rook should be infiltrating to one of these squares. Okay, so now he's coming with some back rank ideas himself. And I would love to play here, but my back rank is quite weak. Um, which is annoying. Okay, let's go here. So I've got this square, because my rook still has these two ways. I can't bring it to f3 now, but these two ways to swing over. And I'm just giving my king this escape square. So when my rook comes up, if he does check me, I just slip up one square. And another way I can play this is here, king here. Bring the rook in that way, threaten queen h7, mate. I can't see how he's going to defend at the moment. His pieces are not... Quite good enough. The rook comes here. Right, check king here. Rook f7. Check mate. And what else can he do? So this is going to be checkmate. The rook comes to f7. Next move. Okay, pretty standard game. And um, you can see my opponent had a good rating. But all I did was I knew the plans very well. I knew the opening setup. I knew um, what ideas I should be doing in the middle game. I... Um, look for attacking opportunities and then I just considered bringing in all my pieces putting them on optimum squares okay I better go cats get impatient please give a like and a subscribe cheers bye